we will now talk about instantaneous velocity. So let us recall what is average velocity. So average velocity was displacement divided by time. So displacement was a vector. So we are writing it as x2 minus x1 divided by change in time which is t2 minus t1 and you can write it as delta x over delta t. Now in terms of differential calculus you can write velocity as dx by dt that is we are replacing delta x by dx and delta t by dt so this is what is called instantaneous velocity so velocity in terms of differential calculus is called instantaneous velocity so let us consider an example say distance is changing as a function of time so x is a plus bt square so what is the corresponding instantaneous velocity so velocity v is equal to dx by dt so that is equal to d by dt of a plus bt square so this becomes equal to d by dt of a plus d by dt of bt square now a is not a function of t a is just some arbitrary constant so d by dt of a is 0 and b is a constant it comes out d by dt of t square gives you 2t so you get 2bt now if you are given specific values of a and b say a is given to you as 8.5 and b is given to you as 2.5 and you are given time equals to 2 so what is the velocity exactly at 2 seconds so that is the meaning of instantaneous velocity so you can find velocity exactly at a point in time so velocity will be given to you as 2bt which is 2 times 2.5 times 2 and this is equal to 10 meters per second. Another question is what is average velocity from 2 seconds to 4 seconds. Now notice that we computed instantaneous velocity exactly at 2 seconds but for average velocity we need time difference or we, or we need exact time taken to travel from one point to another so t is for 2 second to t equals to 4 second you see delta t is 2 seconds so delta x you have to find out which is a plus bt1 square minus a plus bt2 square so a and a cancel out b is common t1 we are taking as 4 t2 as 2 and p is given to us as 2.5 so you just plug in the values so 16 minus 4 will give you 12 so you get 2.5 times 12 and this gives you 30 meters as the change in distance so average velocity is this displacement and displacement is 30 meters as we have seen what is delta x divided by change in time which is delta t so delta x by delta t is average velocity so 30 divided by 2 which is 15 meters per second is the average velocity now we define acceleration now acceleration is change in velocity v2 minus v1 over change in time so it is change in velocity divided by change in time so velocity is delta v change in velocity change in time is delta t so you write it as meters per second by second meters per second is for velocity second is for time 
and you get meters per second square as units for acceleration. Now since velocity is a vector, acceleration is also a vector. Now we write acceleration in terms of differential calculus. A is equal to dv by dt. But you already know that v is dx by dt. So you rewrite this as d by dt of dx by dt. So this is now the new definition for acceleration. So you can also write it as d2x by dt2. This is nothing but a new notation for d by dt of dx by dt. So this will be clear in an example. Say again x is given as a plus bt square and you are asked to find the acceleration. So velocity is 2bt which is dx by dt. Now we need to find acceleration. Acceleration is dv by dt. So this is equal to d by dt of velocity which is 2bt. 2b is a constant it comes out. d by dt of t is just 1. So the answer is 2b. So the acceleration here is given as 2b. So you now see how to compute acceleration. Step one is you compute velocity by taking the derivative and then you take the derivative with respect to time again to get acceleration. Now if the total time taken is t, so you are just given time taken. So delta t is essentially just time taken t. And the initial velocity is given as v0, then acceleration would be change in velocity which is v minus v0 divided by time taken which is t. So you rearrange this, you get v is equal to v0 plus at. And this is the one of the first equations for kinematics.